Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of City Skylines here in Otterberg. Uh, last time we built that train station you see at the bottom of the screen right now, and got a huge influx of uh, tourists. Now uh, our residential demand is going right the heck back up, and uh, we've got a few little projects to get working on. Um, I think we're actually going to work a little bit more on using this train line a little more effectively, maybe fixing some uh, monorail lines to be a little more effective as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to be working on some of those small projects that really make our city run a little better. So let's just get right into it. Yeah, last time we played, we built this place, oh, garbage. How is garbage going to get there? Garbage and police. We could build like a tunnel. Put it down over here or something. Something just to allow. I mean, I can make an intersection here. Vehicles allow recycle and emergency services. Oh, and no parking, please. Thank you. Fuck out with this parking crap. Why? Why does this guy think he can park here? Get right out of here. Alright. Man, look at all these people. It's just absurd how many people. Exchange student. Tourist. 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 Just tons of tourists. Alright. So now we've got utility vehicle access, so that's good. Lord of. Well, I know where the theater is, so you're about to get on the monorail. Okay, so... Let's try and improve the monorail a little bit. First things first, I'm actually going to move this junction a little bit. That's a little smoother. Alright, what I was thinking of yesterday was putting like a big transport hub in this section because we've got trains, we've got trams, we've got monorails. We could do something here. So I want to put a big hub. Metro monorail train hub. I already have one of those up here. Which actually seems to be working pretty well. Can people just walk down here? Yeah, they kind of can. So instead, what I'm looking for is. Nope, not a monorail bus hub. Very best interchange. 
train metro. Kind of want to do another one of these metro monorail train hubs. That seems to be what I'm actually looking for. So if I were to put it here or on a road, like on a spur off of that, I could have it. I could have it T into the. Um, train station over here, like train tracks over here. See, I could put it like here, and it would be good sound-wise for staying away from uh, neighborhoods and whatnot. So let's put a little segment of road in. Let's just say it's like this, and let's pause real quick. If we did this, can we put a roundabout in? Give it a three-lane road. Make it a little bit bigger. we did this, we would have a little spur coming off and going to my big train station. I would put it on this side. Slope too steep. What slope? I guess that slope. Alright. Give me this. Alright, there's that. Ugh. Level with this. this, select that, and that, do control H on that, ugh, that's not great, grab all three of them, yeesh, alright, fine, we'll go with that for now, Look there, give me this. Let's see if this is enough to build my Metro Monorail train hub. Click, click. There, I can fit it there. Alright, that'll be that. So what we have here is a failure to... No. Stop quoting obscure movies. Water. I need me some liquid refreshment. There we go. Let's put the tram tracks underground. Is that what I want to do? I kind of want to make it go above ground and like put a stop here or something and then do like a walking path so that way the people can take the tram to the area Let's see if 
if I can get to do this. If I do this, and then go back underground, how soon before, okay, I can do it to there. I can do that. So that's like my train area. I'll just, you know, put the train in there. Let's do, where is this going? I can make like a trolley thing. It just goes like from here to here or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. No idea. Let's make that walking path though. Walking path. Nope. Give me just the grid. As always. This one to here. There we go. Could I make like a pedestrian just walk the hell over here kind of thing? Could I do that? I could. Can you build a pedestrian bridge? Nope. Has to be over a road. Oh, I could just build that. That's ugly though. Let's build our pedestrian bridge over this railroad track. Shall we? We'll do this. Can I get away with the half size? No, I can't. Executing my sims walking over it. No, see, that's perfect. That's still above the wires. Hell, I can come down more. Let's see, where are my wires? There's the wires. Good. Little pedestrian ramp. Do -do -do. How are people going to get there? I guess they're just going to walk, huh? Like they could get off the station here, walk their butts all the way over here to this station. I don't know. I'll have to make something that utilizes this. But regardless, let's change this. Also follow the tram line, like go over and boop in this way. All right, let's get to building some train tracks. We'll go. I can do 
do this. We can do this. And then can I just make a loop like zoop? In one, out the other. That's terrifying as a train operator, but we'll go with it for now. Then monorail. This one will be... Zoom in, Rob. There we go. Where do I have to go? I have to go over here, so I kind of want to, like, parallel this road. Like that. And like that. that. And... I kind of want to, like, start over here now. If I go straight, do I just hit something? Yeah, I kind of do. Hmm. Uh, let's see if it goes that way. There we go. The height is absolutely atrocious. But we can fix that, can't we? Can't we, gents? Small one. Small one, small one, and small one. Yeesh. And small one. Why is it coming up so much? And small one. Alright, let's... I'm gonna lower that one separately. That's looking pretty good, except this one needs to come up. Up. Uh, this one kind of needs to come up too. Come on, give it to me. There it goes. Alright, there's a gentle slope up. And then this one is still a little high. Right? Yeah. So let's try and make this straight, shall we? That one looks good now. Alright. There's only one random mountain. I guess that's it. Okay. So there's that part of the line. Now I can have the other one swing over and go in this end. And then we'll do something with the other two access points another time. This goes this way. Why is it saying that? Not high enough, maybe? This one. Just go up for a bit, please. Yep, it was the height. That is annoying. I 
Alright, just be straight, please. Alright, that's pretty good. And then we'll just... What? Gently curve it in? There we go. A gentle curve into the station. Now I can just lower this. Yeah, I think the height clearances in this game are a little aggressive. That's going to bother me. That's a little better. Not a lot better, but a little. Alright, so let's talk train stops. Allow inner city chains. Yes, please. Oh, I could do a train track thing. I could be like, hop on the train here, take it to here, take it all the way up to here. I can make a train route. I don't think I've ever done that before. Train line. Can give people lots of options. Add a stop. Oh, there's no way for trains to do that on this thing yet. I have to, like, fix the train lines. Can I just go like this? Distance too short. That is annoying. Can't we just have like a quick scissor interchange? Just like soup, soup. Figure that out later. Let's look at the monorails. So what we have right now is something that needs to be separate. So monorail lines. I've got Monorail line one, which is like the core of my city, like it goes up and into that one. We have a peninsula spur which is going that way. I gotta just delete all these. Well, except for the Maple Park line, obviously. Delete and delete. And what I'm gonna make instead is. on. There we go. Let's do... This will be the Peninsula Spur. It'll be here, to here, to there, and back again.
That's the Peninsula Spur. That's the Peninsula Spur. Okay. Then we got a separate one. It's gonna go... I kind of want them to be separate lines. I kind of want to be like... If this one goes... Here... To here... Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... I can redo these at some point. So where I have like one line that comes up and curves up and joins this one, and one that goes this way and hits the college and comes up here. And then for this one I can like move these and have one come across the front or something. I, I don't know. I'll figure something out there. So that's going to be, that'll be the downtown loop, Peninsula Spur, downtown loop, Maple Park line. Okay. And then let's work on the train lines a bit because we need to be able to have, uh, Train lines that can turn around. So let's let's delete that one. So trains can come in here. Trains can come in here and then turn around. That's not an issue. The issue is they come in here. Pardon my yawn. They come in here, they drop people off, pick people up, they come around. They're still on this left track here. Then if they want to come all the way up to this one. The answer is to make all these two-way. It's not going to be pretty, but... Let's just make all these things two-way. Can I do it? I'll make the underground stuff two-way in a minute. Slope too steep. Slope too steep. So that means I gotta demolish it and rebuild it. Uh, now can I upgrade it? Yes, I can. So let's put in some upgraded stuff. Page down. I gotta go here. I gotta go here. And I gotta delete stuff. Underground deleting. Above ground deleting. This. Uh, can I delete this and do it? Space already occupied. The worst. I hate when I just like miss the, the requirement. 
required length by a little hair and it pisses me off. I did it again, didn't I? Yes, I did. I put it in the same damn spot. The same spot. Click this over here. There. Alright, so the answer is all of the trains go both directions. Now, just to be helpful, I can put a turnaround in right here. Well, let's think about this for a second. in a turnaround, what would that do? Nothing for people on the other side. Hmm, so like this guy, if he wanted to just, I'd have to do like an interchange thing. Let's just see if we can put the train lines in first before we get too far into nitpicking the mechanics of having multiple uh, train lines in the same... Oh, wait a minute. I don't want that. I want... Yeah, that one. Because that way I have an extra buffer. You can come up here and go to this one. And then I guess I have to loop it. Can I just come right the hell back? Yep, a stop there. And then we'll put a stop here. Alright, let's see about that. Train line one, this will be the Otterberg interchange. Two hundred and forty. That is a lot of people you can stick on a train. And people just keep flooding in and out on these trains. Who are these people? Tourist. Someone working. Tourist. That's a bicycle. Exchange student. Alright, cool. Sheesh, look at this just gaggle of people. It's astonishing to me. Hello, dog. Going home, going home. Look at all these people waiting for monorails. You there. On the peninsula spur. Ooh! Whoa! I gotta get way more than three vehicles on this. Let's bump it up to six. Downtown loop. Show me the money. Oh man. Ah, oh, there's so many. Can I get like. Not 14. Let's do like 12. And Maple Park Line. Maple Park Line, you are just a delight. Look at all these people walking. 
silly over here. Alright, you are not servicing very many people. That's tram line 5, which is going to be renamed Maple Park Loop. Ooh, the Strawberry College transfer is going crazy. It's good every now and then to just go in and clean up your public transport. Hmm, Peninsula Spur doing okay. Man, it's just like every single train car is just filled with brim. All right, we're handling it now. That's good stuff. I wonder what that does to my budget. Like, there's no way I'm making money on transport, right? Income, 6,800, costing me 13,000. It is very difficult to make money on public transportation in this game. people waiting. Let's see where this guy actually drops off most of his uh, passengers is the word I'm thinking of. So you don't stop when you first go into the it around as like an extra buffer. might have dropped them off right then and there. Alright, well, public transportation is definitely looking better. What are you lacking? Not enough crops? How is that even possible? Stinking lousy with crops. Huh. Let's see, if I were to stick a crop uh, warehouse here, would that ruin it? Storage. Large barn. Over here. Let's do balanced. Yeah. Alright, hopefully that helps. Let's see, this connects here. This connects here, which everyone seemed to enjoy. What am I missing here? Plastics. Not enough special goods. Plastics. Deal with that at another time. Well, guys, I think on the next episode... I really like the way the public transportation turned out in this. This is pretty good. Like, it's just ridiculous that I have 163 passengers on this thing.
Where are you going? See, this guy's got 75 out of 90. Alright. This monorail. I wonder why that's only two. Maybe I don't need six anymore. Well, regardless. Yeah, I'm happy with the way the uh, public transport turned out. So I think next time... How close are we? Oh, not close enough. Next time we play, I think we're going to expand our new residential area, maybe into this portion. I'm not sure. We might work on this area as well. But our residential demand is back. And I aim to please. So Yeah, we'll we'll take care of that next time. Let's Let's follow a train. Guys just blasting through here. Look at all these people. Ridiculous. Where are you going? Distance traveled all night. 240 at 240. I'm still not getting enough trains. Let's do six for a second. You are gonna be who I'm watching. What the? Oh, that dude's leaving. What? Alright. Is this gonna do this? Seriously, with the train wheels? It is gonna do it with the train wheels. Oh well. Huh? Let's just see what the. what my train line looks like. That's cool. Nice bridge. I want to see where the monorail comes in on the side. Here it comes. Couple monorails over there. Here comes my station. That's a pretty good looking station. We're going to go through the station though. Oof, got to fix that. That is an abrupt great change. They were gonna stop, pick up passengers, and then keep on going. All right, guys. Well, I think this is gonna be it for uh, Otterberg tonight. Um, I know I say it a lot, but uh, I really do enjoy making these videos and putting them online. Um, the channel's obviously not that big right now, but um, I'm really enjoying uh, working on this. And I know that, you know, whether or not growth comes in the channel, that's not really the point for me. Um, I would love for the channel to grow, but uh, the point really is that um, I enjoy making the videos and I enjoy uh, allowing people to watch them. So. so we jumped ahead a little bit to a different view of a different train here. But uh, so yeah, if, uh, if you guys want to give you some kind of palsy um, yeah if you guys enjoy the videos leaving me a, a like or a comment and, and maybe subscribing to the channel uh, really lets me know that you're enjoying it um, so yeah if, if you guys want to do that I would appreciate it so I love making these videos and I hope you guys like watching it so um, yeah next time uh, we'll get into some more shenanigans on City Skyline, so I'll see you guys later. Peace!